so normally when something is this bad, you would think that it's not actually real. But I can tell you right now that Kingdom of Wreck Business is a real video game. They are selling this on Steam for £6.80. I was originally interested in the game due to the fact that you're supposed to be able to go deep sea diving, you go searching through wrecks and things like that, submarines, boats, and all this sort of stuff. You find their treasures, you sell them, you make money, you build up your business, and basically just go on these crazy adventures. And then I purchased the game, £6.80 on Steam, loaded it up, and it was nothing but a letdown. The only thing, and I mean the absolute only thing good about this game, is the concept of it. You start off the game, and like typically with a video game, you press new game or start or whatever it says, and it chucks you into a cutscene or something like that, a loading screen, whatever it may be. But this one has to make sure to tell you, would you like to start in Liverpool? But if you select no, it doesn't start the game, so you have absolutely no choice. And then you go through the loading screen, bearing in mind, this game on my PC, RTX 2070 Super, 16 gig RAM, Ryzen 7 3700X. On my PC, this game's taken about two to three minutes to load up, maybe even a bit longer, and when it starts to load, it stops responding. You have to wait a little while for the game to start responding. But you go through the loading screen, you get into the game, and it starts bringing up tutorials. You have a choice with the very first option of tutorials. You have only tips or an extended tutorial. Well, I did the extended tutorial at first, but I've started a few different new games to see if anything changes. And when I chose to do it with only tips, the game didn't work. I couldn't set anything up. It made no sense. This game does the absolute shittest job at explaining things to you. For an example, you select extended tutorial and then there is absolutely nothing on the screen. The only thing you can see in the room that you start in is a laptop highlighted in blue. When you interact with that laptop, it then brings up the tooltip to tell you to use the laptop. So the tooltip's been put in the wrong place. And the thing that scares me with all of this is this, like, game studio, whatever, they are working on other titles as well. And this is no early access video game. It's got, like, a launch discount, but this is a full release. And it's been out for, I, I don't even know at this point, maybe 24 hours, maybe a little bit longer. There hasn't been a hot fix. There hasn't been any updates or like literally anything. There's been nothing at all. And the reason I say that is because like, yeah, with the starting in Liverpool, people are probably going to see it as nitpicking or whatever. But this game gets a lot fucking worse. And I mean a lot worse. For a start, you are beginning your very own I'm going to say wreckage diving adventure. And this game starts you off like you cannot change this. There's no option to change this, by the way. You're starting off with three million pounds. That three million pounds will give you the ability to go to the shipyard after your first dive and purchase the most expensive ship. It will also give you enough money to go into the shop and purchase everything you need. But there's a lot of stuff in this game that doesn't work and this game holds your hand far too much. There's not really any exploration under the water because every single little thing that you need to pick up has this green glow around it or like with it, so you know exactly where the treasure is. And that's every single item that I found in the first two dives. It got to the stage where I just did all F4 because there was absolutely no point about an hour into the game. But you start off with three million pounds, the extended tutorial will teach you how to do your first dive, you set it all up with buying the sector, you have to buy every single sector or rent them out, you assign a worker to the ship with yourself and like basically you go in and the tool tips do work a little bit better. However, they don't explain a lot of stuff in the game. But you go in, you do your first dive, you're under the water, you've got your oxygen tank and all that sort of stuff. You bring things back. The main objective is to find the enigma. That's how you get your reward. You can find a couple of pistols, I think an MG34, like it's a sunken U190. I think that's what the ship's called. But basically, you do that dive, you go back up to the surface, you interact with the desk that's on your ship, and there's a feature on the ship, by the way, that doesn't work properly, like, it has absolutely no explanation whatsoever, you don't know what it does, but there's a phone on the wall 
that says like cargo ship and then there's like loaner barge but there's three different tiers you got like small medium large and these things cost you money the large barge is going to cost you seventy five thousand pounds to loan but nothing happens you would think you're renting a large barge to have extra storage so you can like go down do your dive fill up your inventory come back to the surface on your boat drop stuff off in the storage then go back down but this barge just is nothing so you're wasting your money interacting with the phone on the wall unless there is something there and the game just doesn't explain it to you because this game is awful with its explanations but you go to the shipyard after your first dive you spend 2.3 million pound on a ship because you have that ability and then you find out that you're not actually allowed to take the ship like with you you can't go on dives with this specific ship so you quit the game because you spent all your money you can't be bothered to sell the ship i think you pretty much get exactly the same amount for the ship back when you do sell it but you quit the game or whatever start a new one and you do your first dive again trying out different stuff to see if the game's going to break like literally i went through relatively quick like skipping the tool tips like just basically breezing through them as fast as i could and it broke the game to the point where I weren't allowed to select my workers for the expedition. So that was another restart and everything like that. But you go back in, you do your first dive or whatever, go to the shipyard, you find out you have to upgrade it because you're only allowed one ship otherwise. And it tells you you can have a maximum of one ship. So you go to sell it, like sell your original like damaged fishing ship. And it says, yeah, you can't sell your only ship. So you have to upgrade your shipyard if you want to purchase extra ships. But the upgrades and stuff are very, very cheap. So I had a look and there's an advanced ship and in mint condition, absolutely perfect. Nothing wrong with it. No damage, no nothing like that. Really low fuel consumption and everything. This was about 200 grand. And then I was looking through the other ships and you've got damaged advanced ship, which is exactly the same, but it's in worse condition. So you're thinking 200 grand for the mint condition one, maybe 140, 150 for the damaged one. No, 800,000 is four times more expensive than the mint condition one to purchase a damaged ship. So the economy is absolutely busted. You're starting with three million. A mint condition ship is a lot cheaper than a damaged one. Everything is pinpointed for you to dive under the water and see it. So just pick it up, chuck it in your inventory, go back up and complete the dive. The negotiating for rewards for diving is a pathetic feature. I tested it out, going to the maximum end, the lowest end, blah, blah, blah. And basically, I had, I think it was a £500,000 reward for finding something specific. And I negotiated, like, you click the button. I did the right arrow to increase the price once and clicked accept, like, confirm. And they accepted it. The reward went for that one mission from £500,000 up to £1,250,000. So my negotiation added an extra £750,000 grand to the price. So I tried it with multiple different contracts or rewards. I did the negotiation, I went to the right to increase the price once, and they accepted it every single time. And you're getting like 170,000 rewards go up to like 400 grand. Stupid, stupid amounts of extra money. And then another feature in this game is you can have a drone that lets you go and do some exploring. The description mentions something about dying under the water and needing to know that you're safe and all this shit. But you can't actually use this drone to carry anything back to the surface because you are attached to it at all times. And it's got this really bright flashlight on the end of it, but it's got the smallest capacity of storage. And you're not allowed to use the player inventory while you're attached to this drone. So that drone is literally for exploration. But it's pointless because whenever you spawn into a sector, you're basically directly above the wreck anyway. You don't need to drive the ship around even though that is an option. You can just slap your anchor down and you can just dive straight underneath and the wreck is pretty much always there. But there's also this device, I don't know how to pronounce it, I can't even remember what it's called. But it's basically like this underwater, little like submarine if you will. This tiny little like machine thing that you can sit in and I believe you're supposed to be able to drive it around. You spend 250 grand to unlock this and purchase it but then you go into like you have it in your ship's storage 
you go to use it and there's nothing you can do to use it. You can't put it in your inventory, in your hotbar or anything like that. So you quit out of the dive, you have a look around and you realize that you need a crane on the back of your ship so that you can lower this thing into the water. Absolutely fair enough. Lift crane, not entirely sure what it's called, but there is a device you need on your ship so that you can lower this little submarine thing into the water. So I paid for the upgrades, having a 200 grand ship. I had a load of money left over. Paid for the upgrades, and then there's a little button underneath that says, like, attach the submarine or something like that. So basically, put this thing on the lift so that when you go into the dive, you are able to like use the lift or crane or whatever, and you can go around in your little submarine thing. Well, that doesn't fucking work either, because you get into the dive, and it's going to tell you that your little submarine that you paid a quarter of a million pound for doesn't exist. And when I was on a dive before installing the crane, and I had this thing in my ship's cargo, that it was taking up storage capacity. The only option you have for that is to delete the item. And like I was on a dive where I had to get two treasure chests and two other like storage chests. So I've taken three of them back up to the surface, put them into the ship's storage, gone back down for the final one, realized that I cannot actually store it. So the only options you have with your little submarine thing or whatever's in your inventory, whether that's ship or player or character, whatever, the only options you have is delete or inspect. So inspecting is going to do nothing. So I chose to delete and it deletes as in it completely wipes it. So your quarter of a million pound goes to nothing. And it, I mean, it doesn't matter if you do it that way, because even installing it on the crane and making sure it's ready to go for when you're diving, the thing doesn't exist. There are so many problems in this stupid game and I don't care that it's an indie game, it's cheap or anything like that. It's less than seven quid. I do not care. If you're going to create video games, at least figure out how they work. Starting players off with three million pounds, you can purchase every single thing that you need in this game and more. You never have to do a dive before purchasing the most expensive ship in the game. You never have to do a dive before purchasing the best equipment that you can take on a dive. And what makes it even worse, you go to the map screen or whatever, where you can see the different dives that are available for you, and they will have these little requirements in the bottom left corner, like required GPS scanner tool or whatever it says. And I, my last dive, the one that made me Alt F4 and give up on this game forever and get a refund on it, I took on a dive, absolutely no requirements, and I get into the mission, my submarine thing's not working, I've got the advanced oxygen tank so I can go quite deep, the oxygen's going to last me a while, so on and so forth. I get down to the site of the wreckage, and it's a big ass boat. And bearing in mind, it's not told me to do anything specific for this mission. I don't need any tools or anything like that. Got down to the wreckage and it loads up the mission. Like I was wondering what treasure I would need to find and shit like that. And uh, yeah, it pops up on the objective. Scan the wreckage. But you can't do that without a specific tool. So I would have to go back to the surface, get back on my boat. I would then have to go back to the office if the mission even stays there. And then I would have to purchase all these different tools or the tool needed to scan wreckages. So there is pretty much nothing that works in this game. The economy is busted. It starts you with far too much money. There's no explanation as to how half the stuff in the game works. Tool tips are coming up too late, like after you've actually discovered and established what to do, like figured it out. And this company is making more video games. They really should have gone with the option of releasing this in early access. They should be taking a look at the reviews and stuff on Steam and realizing how bad they've messed up. And I don't care if this is one person or a whole team. You cannot be so lazy with the launch of your video game, especially a full release, whether it costs a fiver or £105. You cannot launch a game where you give the player £3 million from the get-go and the ability to purchase every single thing in the game. You cannot start a game off like that. And you should be making sure that the fundamentals, the basic core features, actually work properly. And if you're going to put tutorials, especially an extended tutorial, 
If you're going to put them into your game, make sure they explain how stuff actually works. This game, realistically, my opinion, should be removed from the Steam Store page immediately, overhauled so that it works properly, like the economy needs overhauling entirely, and then relaunch. Or at the very least, put out some patches for it. Fix some of the stuff in this game. Because right now it's sitting at a mostly negative. I think there's like 38 reviews and it's like 34% positive or something. And this game's going to go nowhere. And yeah, it might be a passion project, whatever. But you're still going to want to cover your budgets and like all the funding and stuff you've got and everything like that. Whatever you've put into the game in terms of a, a budget, you're going to want to get back plus a little bit of profit so that you can pay salaries or so that you've got some money for yourself so that you've earned something for your creation. But this game doesn't deserve it. It really, really doesn't. This is a fucking awful game. And I'm going to put it up there with Redfall and Gollum as one of the worst games to release in 2023. Kingdom of Wreck Business is a dreadful, dreadful, horrible video game. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.